All right, guys, welcome back to the DC Show. In today's video, we're going to be discussing a whole lot of news and rumors out of the MCU. Am I replacing Doug on the DC Show permanently? Stick, Stick around. around. All right, guys, so the first topic we're going to discuss today is Blade. Yeah, so we got some news that director Bassam Tariq is out, man. And uh, this is kind of concerning. The movie is supposed to release in, in around a year from now. Yeah, and so the script was only like 90 pages long, and yeah. uh, I guess they weren't too happy with it. You, you were saying that there was only a couple of like kind of lackluster yeah. fight scenes or yeah. action so, scenes. Supposedly, um, Herschel Ali himself was not happy with the way the script was coming along. It was really short. Yeah, a couple of lackluster fight scenes uh, was pretty much all that the, the action that was in the movie. And so, yeah, man, it sounds like they've hired a new writer to yep. rewrite the entire script. Well, I mean, uh, you got to do what you got to do, but that is cutting it kind of close. So. Yeah, I mean, we haven't got any official news as to whether or not the movie's going to be delayed or uh, canceled. I don't think it'll be canceled, but yeah, it definitely could be delayed. I, I can't imagine it coming out in a year if it doesn't even have a script. It's... That, yeah, it's true, but you know they've got the resources. I mean, Disney filming takes several them. months. Post production. I mean, I mean the VFX artists are definitely not spread thin or anything, so which they should be fine. Yeah, yeah. Which leads to the other rumor in relation to this is that Kevin Feige is supposedly stretched way too thin right now, mm -hmm. and that's one of the reasons why some of these projects haven't been as successful. So well, yeah, success is a kind of relative, but I understand what you're saying. Like people aren't as excited for them because they're rushing them out. So, yeah. and a lot of the VFX like in she Hulk and such. So people weren't, weren't too happy with it, you know, for certain scenes. So, well, I think a big part of that is simply, and we're getting slightly off topic of blade specifically, but I think sure. a, some of that is just specifically that we're talking about Disney plus. I mean, they're going to have a, a fairly large budget for the project overall, but mm -hmm. each individual episode doesn't have nearly the budget that they have for a big, you know, film. blockbuster film. Yeah. Feature film. So the VFX are never going to be up to, I shouldn't say never, but for the time being, unless some dramatic change in, you know, the way graphic design works, they're not going to be uh, up to the same quality as a feature film. Yeah. So, you know, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, what, what do you think? Are you concerned about the pushback of probably of Blade? Um, I mean, I don't know how pivotal I am, it was. but I'm not because I mean, although Blade is a, an amazing character, I love the Wesley Slipes movies. They were awesome. Um, mm -hmm. But I don't, I don't know. Like I'm not super hyped about it. I'm more, I would be more excited for like a future thing with like the midnight suns where it's blade and ghost Rider sure. and all these other people involved. So, and I'm the same way. That's my level of excitement. I mean, I'm looking forward to, I mean, Mahershala Ali is an amazing actor. Yeah. Um, I like the character of blade. I like the idea of bringing some other like creatures, vampires and things mm -hmm. to the MCU. Um, but my big interest in it is seeing like the black Knight show up Dean Whitman you know I don't know if he's going to or not but then, you know if you've watched you know spoiler alert if you haven't caught up on She-Hulk but there, there there's a, a vampire supposedly in the yeah. most recent episode so yeah. I mean who knows I mean they're definitely you know leading up to more of the um, horror aspect they should, they were talking about maybe having like Frankenstein's monster and other like there I have the werewolf by night they have other characters mm -hmm. that are more of the horror type genre yeah. should be cool I mean the one thing I would say is it sucks to have a project delayed but I'd rather it's delayed and done right For than, sure. you yep. know, cutting corners and trying to just rush it to get out. So, yeah. you know, hopefully that is the case and we get a great movie. Yeah. And speaking of Werewolf, Werewolf by Night, they recently just changed the official, uh, was it the genre? Yeah, it was uh, listed, I believe, as a comedy initially. And now it's a horror uh, film, I guess. It's a short pre special presentation. So I don't know if it's technically a film. It's only an yeah. hour long. An hour, yeah. But, um, yeah, and it's getting amazing critic reviews. Yeah, it was at 100% for a while. I didn't check it recently, but it was at 100% out of like seven or eight people that I had saw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. and all the people I saw discussing the early viewing they got to a view are saying just how amazing it is. Yeah. It's like a, a genre project done right, man. Yeah. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to see some sort of like monsters in the MCU. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what about you guys? Are you excited to see Blade and Werewolf by Night and all them team up eventually? Yeah, let us know in the comments below. Yep. 
All right, guys. So the next topic we're going to discuss today is Black Panther 2 Wakanda Forever. Yeah, we got the uh, final trailer today. The official poster and tickets are now on sale. Yep. Tickets went on sale this morning, like 6 a.m. For, for at least for the West Coast. Yeah. And um, that new trailer had some kind of interesting footage. Yeah. They they showed uh, Namor flying with little wings on his ankles, which mm-hmm. is comic accurate. It did look a little bit weird. Looked a little silly, maybe. But, but I mean... It's hard to sell in a trailer. Yeah. And I, I, I think it'll look better in the movie and I don't know it was kind of cool he was like hopping around to different places I mean definitely stuff. make him more formidable right mm-hmm, um, definitely sure. more more uh, mobile um, so yeah and they were saying that that they, they can't really kill him because it could lead to an all out war because yeah, he's kind of like the protector Mbaku, of, right is like discussing Talo Khan or whatever it's yeah, called yeah what would happen if they were to take him out and that mm-hmm. would basically cause an eternal conflict between the two of them and he is officially confirmed to be a, a mutant which he is in the comics he did uh, mention that in a, an article that he was being interviewed in yeah I think it was Empire Magazine, okay. I believe, yeah. um, and he did say that he is a mutant in the MCU, which is cool because we've discussed kind of previously. We have Charles Xavier, right, in mm-hmm. Multiverse of Madness, who we know is a mutant, but they yeah. never call him that in the uh, the MCU. And then Kamala Khan has a mutation. Yeah, Kamala Khan has a mutation, which is again kind of confirming that she's a mutant. mutant but yes. they're, they're not labeling her as a mutant yet. So um, will he be still the first mutant? Probably. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it'll be interesting to see if they actually. I mean, he might be one in the movie, but they might not call him that still. Yeah. You know, it's it's hard to say. So They're going to drag the mutant stuff out as much as they can with hey, calling them that. Probably so. wait until Phase 7 to get yeah, X-Men stuff. The whole X-Men so, so. series. Yeah. yeah, so, you know, that may be the case. Maybe when yeah. the X-Men finally show up, they'll officially be like, oh, yeah, we're mutants. And the other conf- was seemingly confirmed news is that Shuri is going to be at least a Black Panther, if not the Black Panther in the movie, because the poster shows her front and center, mm-hmm. Black Panther behind her, and the in the trailer, the Black Panther drops down, and it's definitely a, a female figure. Yeah, definitely a female figure. Um, I mean, if it's not Shuri, it's definitely a major misdirect. Um, or someone from the Dora They did yeah. play their, like, kind of like their sting music. Yeah. But, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious that Shuri, especially being that she does become Black Panther in the comics, I, I'm sure she'll be... A Black Panther, whether she not or, might not be the final yeah, Black yeah. Panther at the end of the movie, but we'll see. Yeah, and I mean, I think it's probably her donning the suit. Now we don't know if she's officially become Black Panther, right? Because they have to eat the heart shaped herb. But I would imagine she probably would do that before she donned the suit. Well, but there's who knows? More, there's more to it than that, though, right? It's like a spiritual thing. They, yeah. When they take that, they go through something. It's not like you just eat it through all the ancestral stuff. plane and everything. Yeah, like. so I, I wouldn't imagine that like multiple of them can do it at the same time or anything, you know. Um, so we'll see. But I do think she will be at least a version of Black Panther. And you said that they released a toy that also confirmed. I think it. there was some either art or a toy that previously came out confirming that Shuri will be. I'm all for it. Shuri, yeah. Shuri is pretty badass so yeah i just hope that she uh hones her fighting skills a bit because she she has her little like she's more techy yeah yeah yeah. but and i'd like to see her still make it more tech you know i don't want to be too busy with uh being black panther we got to see more of uh ironheart riri williams building her suit herself and flying on taking off yeah saw a few quick scenes of her suit that one looks a little uh bulkier and bigger kind of like the original iron mark one iron man suit. yeah yeah so we'll she see. Said, Let's go. The, yeah, the tech inside her her heads up display looked pretty advanced though. So I mean, she obviously is doing something there in Wakanda. So yeah, she probably had access to their tech. So I'm super excited. We both got our tickets. So I'm only yeah. gonna spoil. I told you I was only gonna give you the major spoilers. Yeah, as long as just the major ones. I don't want any of these little piddly spoilers. Yeah. No one cares about that. Yeah. Um, but uh, as long as I get the major ones, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Let us know if you're excited for Black Panther two, and if you already picked up your tickets. All right, guys, so our next topic is going to be Iron Fist, believe it or not. Yeah, kind of surprising, right? They have yeah. some news about Iron Fist. But actor Finn Jones, who plays Danny Rand, a.k.a. Iron Fist, in the Netflix Marvel series, said he wants another crack at the character. And you can't really blame him. He sees some of the other actors coming back from the Netflix series. Yeah. Um, I don't know necessarily that it was his fault that the Iron Fist series wasn't great. Um, more likely probably the writing for yeah. the character. Um, but he would love to come back and, and join up again with Mike Coulter's uh, Luke Cage and do like a Heroes for Hire uh, series like a, on uh, Disney Plus or something. I think cool. that'd be pretty cool. That'd be a fun fun little show, kind of like She-Hulk. It could be more of a comedy, you know, with a lot of action because they're obviously being hired to do different yeah. jobs or whatever. But yeah, they're yeah. both pretty skilled fighters. Uh, Luke Cage is pretty like impervious, so he could 
really get up in there and yeah, if it gets good writing i think it could be done well and it'd be fun it'd be a fun show i think they could redeem him or if they do recast i mean i think it still could be a good fun show yeah. even with another actor yeah i mean neither of those actors have been confirmed to come back uh to the mcu yeah. um if they choose one of the two i'd definitely love to see mike coulter i think he's like a really good actor yeah. perfect luke cage um you know he's also very attractive he's a he's a good looking man for sure um, but yeah, uh, I think, uh, Finn Jones, he could play the role just fine. Yeah. I, I'm not too worried about his acting ability. Um, he definitely has some skills with martial arts and stuff yeah. to play the character of Iron Fist. It just needs some good writing. We need some good stories, some good reasons for them to have to team up. And I think it would work. Yeah. What do you guys think? If, if you guys don't want him back, who would you recast as the Iron Fist? Let, Let us, us know. know. All right, guys, next we're going to be discussing some news about the Thunderbolts. Yeah, apparently um, Marvel's top choice for replacing William Hurt, if they were to replace him, is Harrison Ford. Yeah, I mean, I I really couldn't think of anyone I'd be as happy about them casting. I mean, he's an amazing actor, iconic, right? Some of the most iconic characters in film history. Yeah, he's getting up there in age, so we don't know if he'd even want to do it, but he'd be great for the part. Yeah, just knowing his uh personality like his actual personality not his acting personality like he already got kind of like this grumpy like kind of angry sometimes i think he could pull off be playing a, thaddeus a big giant red hulk angry yeah. red hulk it sounds like they really do have a lot of interest in bringing the red hulk to the screen mm-hmm. um not just uh thaddeus ross but the actual red hulk and a lot of it could be obviously motion capture so even if um he wants to sell his uh rights like bruce willis you know he could be yeah. just a yeah. digital version of himself that they can use. I feel like, I think we both agree. We feel like we're missing like the big brooding character in um, the Thunderbolts cast. Yeah. The, the no abomination. Yeah. Like, no abomination. No red Hulk. There's a lot of super soldiers and yeah, but maybe they're just waiting to officially sign Harrison Ford before they announce that you know? or somebody. I mean, they got to, re- they would have to replace William Hurt because unfortunately he passed away, but yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't know who else they could get, but Harrison Ford's a great pick if they I'm sure there's up. other other actors they can get to do it but you know I think you're gonna have the least amount of pushback if they cast someone like Harrison Ford I don't think yeah. anyone would be upset about that I don't think there's as much like um controversy around recasting him as there would be like Chad uh, Chadwick Boseman yeah um but I still I think anytime an actor passes away someone else to step into that role it's you know it's a bit of a controversy and I think uh Harrison Ford and William Hurt were actually friends. Um, so I think it's fitting that he would step in and take over that role. Yeah. So we'll see if he's willing to do it. I think you were, you were saying that would be the only reason he would not want to do it is because he was friends with William Yeah, Hurt. out of respect for sure. Um, but I, I think that can go either way, right? True. Like maybe he would say, hey, I think he would be okay with me doing this. Um, or maybe not. Yeah, maybe he's yeah. like, hey, I know there's no way he would want me to step in and try to take over a role he did. Yeah. Um, so and we'll tell, I guess, when we get the next amount, announcements from yeah. him. Yeah, and we'll see. So let us know what you think about that announcement and whether or not you'd like Harrison Ford to step in in the role. Yep. All right, guys, so the next topic we're going to discuss is Iron Wars. Yeah, we've got some kind of big news that apparently they're switching from a six-series Disney Plus show to a feature film. Yeah, I'm it's we both agree that's probably a better option because with some of the Disney Plus shows, I mean, they feel like they're longer because they're six plus episodes. But yeah. if they're only 30 minute episodes, there's a lot of exposition, a lot of, you know, behind the scenes stuff they have to do. It doesn't isn't the same as a, an actual big budget movie, yeah, for especially sure. for something like Iron Iron Armor Wars. I almost said Iron Wars Armor Wars that they're going to have a lot of suits and flying yeah. and action and a lot of vfx for sure for sure so and we got some news about some actors coming back to the mcu for yeah. sure supposedly paul bentony mm-hmm. um and sam rockwell coming back to join uh the cast for this this movie and to play vision and justin hammer yeah iron man 2 i know iron man 2 isn't everyone's favorite uh mcu movie i actually really like it i'm in the minority i know but um i really like uh justin hammer and that you know sam rock i think character. i think it's more iron man 3 that people dislike more than iron man 2 i think you're right i think you're right and i'm in that camp too but yeah. i think uh a lot of people just still would put that lower tier uh yeah, MCU. Not towards the top of my list yeah I don't know. I, I got a, a special place in my heart for it, I guess. I'm also um, Team Cap, obviously. Yeah. Well, that is the first movie that we got Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow in, which is kind of cool. Yeah. So, but anyways, yeah, man, um, it's exciting. Um, I'm guessing Paul Bettany would be making a return as his white vision. 
I would imagine. Yeah. Um, we really don't know what happened to him. Are they gonna call him spectral vision or white vision? I mean, everyone calls him white vision because he's the color white. But yeah. what would they actually call him? What do you think? West Coast Avengers vision? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. They could be leading to that with She Hulk. Yeah. I mean, we're starting to get a few characters popping up on the West Coast, so you never know. Um, know. We've got two more episodes of She Hulk. I know we're not really talking about She Hulk too much, but. What are you thinking about that so far? We just kind of touched on that a little bit. Um, I have not watched the most recent episode yet. Oh, you need I, to watch I'm, it. I'm getting, little, good. I'm getting a little behind on a few things. There's so many shows right now between House of the Dragon and Rings of Power and She-Hulk. And, and it's just a lot right now. So Definitely check that out. It's not that long of an episode. So. I know. I know. Life. Life's just been busy. You know You know how it goes. Yep. But, uh, but yeah. Um, and then what do you think about uh, Justin Hammer making a return, though? That's yeah. that's um, interesting. Yeah. Um, I imagine he would have been imprisoned at some point after the events of uh, Iron Man 2. Yeah. Um, I mean, his uh, Iron Man suits or whatever he called them were like running amok around, destroying things, mm-hmm. uh, chasing after Iron Man. So Yeah, I, yeah um, I would imagine that someone's going to get him out of prison if he still is in prison and then use his resources and his knowledge to help them build their own Iron Man type suits. Yeah, I believe this is going to kick off right after Secret Invasion. Okay, yeah. So there could be some scrolls involved too. Mm. So I mean, maybe Justin Hammer is not even human. Maybe he's a scroll or maybe someone a scroll just breaks him out of prison, you know. Who knows, it's hard to say, but yeah. it is supposed to to carry right in from Secret Invasion. So yeah, and Don Cheadle is in that as well, so that makes yeah, sense. Yeah. And good for Don Cheadle, man. He deserves to have his own movie. I think he's been around for, you know, since Iron Man 2 as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, so. It wasn't in Iron Man 1. No, it wasn't in Iron Man 1. Um, yeah, so he deserves it, I think. You know, He's one of the few that hasn't gotten his own sh- his own movie. Uh, I don't think Hawkeye got his own movie yet either. Yeah. Um, but, does, he, uh, does he really need one? Though? Oof. Oof. Sorry. Sorry, Clint. Uh, sorry, Clint. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I hear Kate's got a new movie coming out. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. He'll be the, the featured act in it. Yeah, yeah. He'll be the, the, uh, the guest appearance. Yeah. All right, guys, so let us know what you think about Armor Wars switching over to a feature film and the addition of Paul Bettany and Sam Rockwell. Yep. All right, guys, for our next topic, we're going to be discussing a little bit of Deadpool 3 news. Yeah, we got the viral video the other day from Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman. Jackman, He he kind of showed up at the very end of it, and he said, he's like, "Ah, I got nothing. And then he's like, wait, I got one thing. He's like, hey, Hugh, (laughs) you want to play Wolverine one more time? He's like, yeah, sure, Ryan. You know, just... Casual. casual, yeah. They're just hanging out in the house. Yeah. Casual. So yeah. then they got the Deadpool logo with the the three uh, Wolverine claws striking through it. Mm-hmm. And then I believe the next day they released a second video, the kind two of, of them sitting on a couch discussing, you know, the how it's all going to play out with the Logan movie and when that took place. Yeah. And so Logan took place in 2029. They're saying that they're not touching that. He did as an endpoint. Logan does die there. Mm-hmm. This is something else, is what they said. Yep. And then they kind of say, well, this is what's going to happen. And then there's just music playing over. Yeah. You can't hear what they're saying. Jitterbug. Yeah, the jitterbug. Yeah. And, and I believe uh, there was a, a breakdown. I think uh, John Boy actually did some uh, lip reading to, yeah. to break down kind of what they're saying. Yeah. And they're just kind of like just talking nonsense, but basically, like, I'm running after him here. Yeah. And, then, and then they're like, oh, then I stab him. And then, yeah. and then yeah. he dies. And so there was no like. Real Nothing real, yeah. But they know there. what they're doing. They're messing oh, yeah. with us. It was, yeah. It's all for fun. Yeah, I'm sure they knew that someone was going to go through there and do <laughs> lip reading and, yeah. and see what they're saying, anyways. But, but I'm excited, man. Um, one we, of the one of the breakdowns that I saw that was kind of interesting was basically, uh, I believe it was MT from from New Rockstars, but he was basically kind of breaking down like how they show in in Loki at the end of Loki season one that the, they have those different universes, the different black holes in the center of them. And it kind of, the one that they show with the timeline with the, he who remains, it basically goes to the right one. So they're thinking that maybe the left one is like the Fox timeline and that Deadpool was in there and that he might like use the time travel device and go through and maybe he'll kill the, the Fox universe and then jump oh, over man. to the MCU using the time variance authority. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, that's possible. Cause I mean, the, the TVA, didn't recognize Loki when they saw him. Mor- uh, Mobius, excuse me, not Morbius. Was, who's Morbius? Mobius and Mobius. <laughs> yeah, Mobius didn't recognize him. I mean, there's there's just a lot of stuff that was different. And they're kind of letting the the branches the timelines branch, so which might explain why some of the X Men continuity doesn't really make sense for the Fox stuff. So yeah. uh, that could be their way of kind of like, in a way, retconning everything and bringing it back and getting it back on track for the MCU. 
Yeah, it could be. I mean, MT uh, does the Rogue Theory videos a lot, so you yeah. know it could just—it's definitely a Rogue Theory. Could be out there. He also but thought I liked that, that Conchu stopped in reverse time uh, on Earth, so you know, I'm just saying. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't mean he's not. Wrong I know. I'm just. I'm just joshing right. you. I'm just joshing you. Just give me a hard time, MT. Yeah. You and your nerd babies. Oh. Um, but no, I mean that very well could be. Um, I, I don't know. I'm not sure how much they're going to get into the specifics. Uh, the specifics of how it all plays out. Um, I don't care. But yeah, we're, we're getting Deadpool less than two years. Yeah. September just shy, 6th, 2024. Just shy of two years. And so we had talked before in our X-Men fan casting video about fan casting the new Wolverine. Right. Mm -hmm. And I had mentioned that, like, Hey, I'm ready to move on. I'm ready for a new Wolverine. Yeah. The exception is in a Deadpool movie. Like there's no other Wolverine I would want to be in Deadpool than Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. Yeah, and we're getting it. Thank I you. Mean, with, Thank you, Kevin Feige. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> with all of the banter between the two of them over the years, um, you know, like this this was due. They're great friends in real life, so it's going to be – the chemistry on screen is going to be amazing, and yeah. who knows what other characters are going to be in there just as little subplots, and it's just going to mm -hmm. be so funny, and hopefully they're just like doing like a time travel thing, just kind of cleaning up the all yeah. the mess from Fox yeah. is what I'm hoping for. Yep, and if you haven't – watched in a while or at all the uh in credit scene in deadpool 2 go back and watch it because ryan reynolds told us all of this already yeah, it lines up perfectly i'll put a little clip of it on here but yeah. it, i mean it'll you'll have to watch it with sound but yeah i mean he, he told us you know this is what's gonna happen essentially so do you think hugh jackman is done after this one do you think they'll bring him back for one more movie potentially with secret wars yeah, I mean, I'm surprised he actually is even going forward with this movie, to be honest with you. I know that just the, the regiment alone for getting himself in that kind of physical shape. I mean, if you look at him when he first started in the X-Men, and then you see him at the end of his uh, career, maybe not in Logan. Cause maybe, he was, maybe the Wolverine. Yeah, the Wolverine. And maybe you could pop some pictures of the two of them side by side here. Um, I mean... He really bulked up like massively, yeah. and um, I know he's starting to get in shape. They show he showed him pictures mm -hmm. of himself working out. I think it's ready. been what over twenty years or something. He's been playing Wolverine. It's crazy. Um, so I mean, he, he wasn't super young to begin with. He didn't even know anything about the character when he first got yeah. cast. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, we kind of talked off camera, but yeah, yeah. yeah he would sneak because uh, Brian Singer wouldn't allow comics to be on set, which is weird. But yeah, whatever. so he would sneak into Kevin Feige's trailer and read comics to learn about the the the, the character. You know, and that's when Wolverine. Kevin Feige was like an associate producer. He wasn't mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. who he is now. You know, running the show. Yeah, so reuniting the two of them, which is really cool. And with that, I mean, we're gonna get some sort of comic accurate suit for Wolverine, probably. I, right? That'd be awesome. That'll be that's that's the big payoff for me is getting to see him and his Wolverine suit. Hopefully it's like an X-Force one. They're both in like their gray suits because Deadpool 2, even though it wasn't his gray suit, it was more because he got blasted, yeah. but kind of like hinted at it. And then he's like typing he's away wearing that and suit wearing that well, suit. Yeah. yeah. I Who thought knows? that was pretty telling. I thought it was, I mean, I thought that when they showed him in that suit for the trailers for Deadpool 2, I thought we're getting like some X-Force stuff, which they did. They did. Tease. His X-Force. They did tease X-Force. Yeah. Seems kind of derivative. No. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, but, uh, that would be a cool team. I'd love to see them get a lot of the people like X 23 joining as well. And just cool. where they're just like, really, I mean, it's going to be R rated, right? It's the only MCU confirmed R rated project. Um, so they could do a lot with it. going to make billions of dollars. It's going to be yeah. so popular. Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah. I, I think it's safe to say it'll be the highest grossing R rated film. R rated film. Yeah. yeah. I think easily. Um, I think the current one's called the Joker. I don't know what that is. I haven't seen it. I don't know. But never um, heard of her. Yep, don't know. But I I'm sure it'll pass that up. I'm thinking it's gonna make at least like one point five realistically, domestically. Yeah. Nice. I don't know. Maybe well, globally. Worldwide. Oh, globally it could be over two. <laughs> yeah, you, you never know. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, man, let us know. What's your level of excitement for Deadpool three now that we found out we're getting Hugh Jackman joining? Yeah. All right, so our final topic is that there's a rumor of Elizabeth Olsen coming back for Agatha, Coven of Chaos. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's not a huge surprise. I think we both knew or assumed anyways that she'd be making an appearance again in the MCU. And she did mention openly that she wants Scarlet Witch to have something of a redemption arc after the Multiverse of Madness. It's good to know that she didn't die when she when the when the thing crushed her. It seemed like it crushed her at Wondergore Mountain. So Yeah, I mean, maybe it did. Maybe it's going to be a different... Um, version from a different multiverse. Eight you know. three eight, Wanda coming over. Maybe, maybe <laughs> uh, making sure that she's taken care of, so her kids are safe. I don't know. I mean, her um, kids most likely will be in like the Young Avengers if they do that. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, those kids are probably gonna be pretty traumatized. <laughs> 
Yeah, and I also wonder if the 8381 is where, you know, Deadpool and Wolverine will be. Maybe they're in that universe because they have, like, some of the X-Men. They obviously had Charles Xavier, so mm-hmm. there's a possibility that Wolverine was part of that universe. I don't know. Yeah, it's hard to say. And that's uh, another thing, actually, that uh, Elizabeth Olsen, she discovered or she was told while she's on the red carpet for an event that um, Hugh Jackman's coming back to reprise his role as Wolverine. And with that, she's like, hey, well, then I want to be in some movies with some of the X-Men as well. Yeah, I mean, Wanda is a mutant in the comics. so Yeah, she does acknowledge that, you know, you know uh, Magneto is her father in a different universe um, or in some universe out there anyways, yeah. um, which is really cool that she's pretty passionate about her character and she knows stuff about her, the comic accuracy of her, her character. So. Yeah, I know. I, either way, there's there's so much stuff coming up. I'm super excited. I can't wait. If you're a Marvel fan, this is a great time to be alive, for sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, I think in the next couple of years, well, two to three years, just the amount of projects we're getting are just pretty amazing. And yeah. I, I feel like we got all this news just dropped. Yeah. Like two weeks after D23. Yeah. Um, there was a bit of a letdown, I think, at D23. Definitely for me personally. I mean, I let it be known on one of our previous videos. I, I thought that there was perfect opportunity to announce some of this stuff then. They didn't do it. Yeah. I think, like I said in that video, Disney usually has their finger on the pulse, and I think they're pretty uh, aware of what's going on in their fan, uh, their fandom. Mm-hmm. And I wouldn't be surprised to know that Feige's like, hey, <laughs> start releasing some of this stuff. <laughs> You know, we we need some positive stuff in the media right now about yeah. us because of some of the negative things coming out. Yeah. I think the just the enjoyment of Phase Four has been a little bit lower than the previous phases. I mean, especially Phase Three. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And ending uh, with Infinity War and Endgame. Yeah. I mean, two of the highest grossing movies ever. You know, and so I think they needed some some good news coming out. And then you know, the blade news came out right before some of this other stuff and that's some more bad news. Yeah. So it seems like it is going to end strong with black Panther. It looks like it'll be in this, but black Panther, another thing we didn't mention is going to be the longest running film of phase four is going to be two hours and 41 minutes. I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Over two hours and 40 minutes. So So. that's pretty exciting. I mean, a long movie doesn't always mean a good movie, but that's true. Um, I think Ryan Coogler will do a great job. Yeah. I I think the original black Panther is up there in the top tier MCU for most people. Um, Coogler definitely knows what he's doing it's going to be a very emotional movie um you know with the passing of chadwick boseman and needing to address that in some way Mm -hmm. um yeah it should be exciting man i definitely think it's gonna be a great way to close out phase four yeah so So what news that we had we're talking about are you guys most excited about let us know in the comments below thanks for checking out today's video be sure to check out our website and our patreon take a moment to leave any suggestions for future videos in the comments below be sure to like and subscribe have Have a marvelous marvelous day. day Dang, we did four things that time. Yeah, and we did it pretty well. Just One take. Nice. Man. Whoa. That, like, flashed red. It must have been really loud. Yeah. It spiked the audio. It's like you spiked the microphone right now. I wonder where Wade went. Oh, no. I need to give him his shirt back. I can't leave this place with a shirt on. No, I know. He's probably out there. All right, it's I'll probably, find him. It's probably raging. Oh, oh. We'll burst his rage. We'll burst his rage. Today, it'll happen today. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Is Danny Rand coming to Iron Fist, the MCU? Oh my. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want Iron Fist to be our tag. Like, no one cares about Iron Fist. What do you mean no one cares about Iron Fist? No one f- cares about Iron Fist. I'm Deadpool right Deadpool, now. jeez. <laughs> you can bleep me out if you want. You're going to have to be bleeped out. You can have your boy Doug bleep me out. How are you going to exist in the MCU? How are you going to do that? You'll f*** me. Oh my gosh. (laughs) I'm pretty sure I'm going to be murdered today. Yep. Stick around. (laughs) Next scene, almost uh, dead. In a pool of your own blood. Dead. I'm in a dead pool. I'm going to give you a Colombian necktie. Oh my. All right. So... Apparently, I'm going to die very brutally. I knew this day would come. Welcome back to the DC Show. My name's Deadpool. And I'm Corey. Doug is no longer with us. He was murdered. He, he, was, he was deadened. He was deadened by the pool. Mm-hmm. Mr. Pool. Thank you. Mm-hmm. 
All right, guys, welcome back to the DC show. In today's video, we'll be discussing a whole lot of news and rumors out of the MCU. Am I going to murder the whole MCU? Stick around. Stick around. Well, I don't know. Probably. Probably are. Yeah. At least the Fox universe. <sighs> I think you already did some of that. I'm going to finish it. Why would you put your thumb across your throat? Columbia necktie. Oh, okay. I just learned about that. It's very disturbing. Yeah. We'll put some visual art up here for the children. Oh my gosh. I'll draw it myself. Deadpool, this is a family-friendly show. I'll draw it. It'll be just like the movie. Okay. All right. That's fair. In today's video, we're going to be discussing all the... Wait, sorry. I was going to say something about Papa Feige, and I just... Get it right. I got it in my head. I just couldn't get the words out properly. All right, get this shit together. All right. All right, guys, welcome back to the DC show. In today's video, we're going to be discussing a whole lot of news and rumors out of the MCU. Am I replacing Doug permanently? Stick around. Probably. Yeah, yeah I'm going to try to do one more where I say something about Papa Feige. All right. Yeah. He's our Papa, right? Sure. I mean, would you consider him your Papa? Papa. Papa, can you hear me? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> in today's video, we're going to be discussing all the news that Papa Feige just released. Am I replacing Doug <laughs> permanently on the DC show? Stick around. Uh, uh, so, Papa, if you're, if you're watching this by chance, we love you. Mm -hmm. And thank you. So, I was re recording some test footage last night just to make sure that the camera was going to work and we weren't going to have any issues with it. So far, it looks good. Looks like it's working good. Okay. But one of the things I was discussing was this really important question, okay? And the question is, tacos or burritos? Dude, I mean, it's an impelling question, I know. It's just, like, gets the mind going, right? You immediately hear that question and you're just not sure. Man, what would I choose? A taco or a burrito? It's tough. I mean, Jacob, we, we learned yesterday that Jacob is a burrito guy. He's a big fan of the uh, James Burrito from Taqueria Rancho Grande. Um, I'm going to pass on the uh, James Burrito. It's got ranch in it. It was just too weird for me. Um, but I think I'd go tacos. That would be my choice. There's all kinds of tacos. There's... Oh, hi. I just, I just saw Wade in the hallway. Oh, Wade? Yeah. Yeah. He would have liked this conversation. I was discussing uh, tacos or burritos. Now, he would probably interject that. He would go with... Chimichangas. A burrito as long as it was fried. Yeah. Became a chimichanga, which I think is fair. I think that's still a burrito. It's a type of burrito, in my opinion. But... It's yeah. an appelling question for saying tacos or burritos. And let it, me borrow his shirt. I didn't, very, I didn't have a shirt. I, I came here topless, so... Yeah. Naturally. Nice of him. As you typically do. So... Yeah. Naturally. All right. <laughs> All right. That's fine. We don't need to know the director. Okay. The we'll just say that there, he, someone else. Is, it did say what he, other stuff he wrote, but I can't remember. It was something else that's like either MCU related or whatever. Who cares? Okay. No one cares about the writers, at least their names. They care about the story. They just don't care about the name specifically of the person who wrote the script. I am an a-hole. That was all. I mean, because I'm I don't really got a on camera face for movies, but I might be a writer someday, so I care about the writers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I care about you, Doug. <coughs> Thanks, bro. Yeah. After Secret Invasion? I believe so. Oh, Secret Invasion. I'm my head was not Secret Wars. Secret Wars. Yeah, Too many secret. secrets. All right. Stop well, telling let, secrets, let, let, Marvel. Let All right, guys. So let us know what you think about Armor Wars switching to a feature film and adding Sam Rockwell and Paul Bettany into the movie. I stumbled at the end there. Dang it. <laughs> The movie, we did three fan casting, four fan casting videos, right? Uh, with the villains, too. Yeah. So, like, that was a lot of content we had just based on one person's suggestion. We can make our own. We can fan cast the, the No, no for sure. Or... No, we can, for sure. I'm just saying, like, it's nice to have people. Yeah, I want people to interact as well. Yeah, yeah. Interact. So, please interact. You know, leave some comments or suggestions. We're lonely. Talk to us. We're okay, talking to Sean Cannon right now. Sean Cannon, yeah. And Jacob's not even here. I know. We're missing uh, the Gemmo, formerly known as the, the Derpy Bacon 200. Um, he's missing MIA today. We're going producer list. We're flying solo. We also, by the way, are re-recording this video. Yeah, I was sick, and then we had some issues with the recording. Uh, lesson learned. Yeah. If you, if you guys are ever going to record any videos... 
If you make any changes, significant changes to your camera settings, uh, make sure you do some test footage first. Sure. Don't spend roughly an hour or so recording to find out that your footage is not usable. Ooh. Yeah, it was not fun. We yeah. were all kind of like, lesson learned, but deep down we were like, ah, oh, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right. I think this video is going to come out great. And, um, you know, a little bit delayed maybe. The Deadpool news came out, what, almost But we got some new news that we d wouldn't have had in our last That's video. True. That's true. So That's true. It worked out. Yeah. So, is that a, a female peeing device? What? No, it's a funnel. <laughs> Isn't that pretty much what they are, though? They're like the rubber, they're like little cups. Of <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a collapsible yeah. funnel. A collapsible funnel. Don't sure. worry about female peeing devices at, at my <laughs> place of business. Why is it in the VR room? What's going on in here? Bro. <laughs> we also clean the jumpsuits in here. So we have to fill up the steamer sometimes. Oh. I don't know why it's in here. I don't know why you're filling have to ask my female employees. urine. That's hey. weird. That's what's sa it's sanitary. Is the, the ammonia in the, the urine helps to clean the jumpsuits? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, this video is like, sponsored by Outburst Rage Room. Jesus we'll Christ. burst your rage. <laughs> it's okay. They're usually like that same color and everything. The ones I've seen, like the how many do you? The look ones at? I've used. The ones Wait, you've what? used? Don't worry about it. All right, bro. When I'm steam cleaning things. <laughs> <laughs>